My name is Arjun Prasad Kare from Senior KGA. I study in Leafinger Gobal School. Today we are celebrate Red Day and Christmas. So I am decide the poem. My poem name is Santa. Who love this way? Ho ho ho! Santa who drive this sled? Thought sled and snow. Santa. His hair is white. His nose is red. He wear a hat. He cover his head. Who bring phone from girls and boys? Thank you. Have a nice day. Sun Good morning, ma'am and my dear friends. Today, I am going to play a jingle bell tune. My school name is Green Finger Global School and I am studying in Senior KGB class. Today I am going to speak about Red Day. Red is the color of... I, I think it's a very beautiful color. Red is the color of roses, cherries, watermelon, tomatoes, strawberries. And it is the color of heat and blood. And my bag is red. My lunchbox is red. My pencil is red. My comfort, my compass box is red. I love to wear red dress. And red is the color of sacrifice and courage. Red is a wonderful, precious color. And my whole family love a red color. Thank you. Have a nice day. Spell red, I can spell red, fire.
Are your trucks already? Stop signs are led to R.E.D. R.E.D. That was soup. Let's see if you can do it yourself this time. What is red? What is red? Apples are red, strawberries are red, fire trucks are red, stop signs are red, roses are red, hearts are red, 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 red. Again! What is red? What is red? Apples are red, strawberries are red, fire trucks are red, stop signs are red, roses are red, hearts are red, 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 red.
One for mama, one for daddy, one for me. Little tomato, little tomato, little tomato. Cut and then three. One for mama, one for daddy. And me. Little Billy, little Billy. Little. Very, very pale. No. no, Mama, no, Mama, no, Papa, no, Daddy. Oh. All the me. Thank you, friend. Bye. <laughs>
The whole journey had to be made by foot. Mary sat on a donkey and Joseph walked behind them. It was even more difficult for Mary since she was going to give birth to her baby. After many, many days of walking through the desert, Joseph and Mary finally reached Bethlehem. It was getting very dark when they reached the town. They desperately needed a place to rest and spend the night. But all the inns were full and nobody would give them space to spend the night. Joseph walked all over the town, knocking at the doors of houses and shops, one after the other, but nobody would allow them to come in. Mary was about to give birth, and it was important that she had a safe and comfortable place for the baby and herself. Joseph and Mary kept feeling hopeless. After searching for a while, Joseph found an empty barn built for cows. There was plenty of fresh straw there. Joseph used the straw and managed to make a bed for Mary. Later in the night, something magical happened. Mary gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. Joseph made a small bed of fresh straw in the manger and laid him there. It was warm and comfortable and the baby slept happily in the manger. Mary was happy that the predictions of the angels had come true. Jesus Christ, the Savior of this world, was born in a humble manger. town of Bethlehem, a baby boy has been born. His name is Jesus. He will be known as the Savior of the world. You will know it is Jesus when you see a baby boy wrapped in a clothes in a manger. Go to the villages and let everybody know of this happy news. Let everybody know that Jesus, the Savior of the Jews, was born today. Go in peace now and spread the good news. The shepherds were happy and shocked at the same time. They were overjoyed at the fact that a Savior was born and they ran towards Bethlehem to find baby Jesus, the King of the Jews, who had been born in a humble manger. When they eventually found the baby in the manger in Bethlehem, they praised him and bowed down in worship. On the night that the three wise men followed the star for several days and found baby Jesus in the manger. They were surprised to find the future king of Jews lying in a barn. They found the barn in which Jesus was born a few days after he was born. Finally, the star stopped right over the manger. They smiled at Mary and bowed down in reverence to the new baby. They had brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh for the baby. These were very valuable gifts and only given to kings. It was highly unusual for anybody to give these precious things to a newborn baby. However, this was no ordinary baby, and the wise men fully understood the purpose of Jesus' birth. And so, now you know the story of Christmas and how the mighty Savior of the world started his journey on earth. The story shows us that great things can have small and humble beginnings.